Okay, so this video will show you blokes how to use a desiccator, so listen up. Here's what you need. A desiccator obviously, your sample, some dry desiccant, and maybe some Kim wipes. Now, a desiccator is used to keep your sample dry, both when cooling heated objects and for stirring objects that need to stay out of the moisture present in the atmosphere. Get it? This is important for some of the experiments you'll be doing, so pay attention. It has an airtight seal created using silicone grease, and a desiccant at the bottom to suck up any moisture. Notice the color of the desiccant, it's gonna tell you if it's dry and sweet, or if it's wet and needs to be swapped out for some new product. In this case, blue is baked, and pink is soggy. Let's toss the damp desiccator. Okay, so opening the desiccator isn't so easy, you can't just lift off the lid. That's not gonna work. What you've got to do is grip or even hug the desiccator with your arm and use the other to carefully slip off the lid. Take it easy, you don't want desiccator parts flying all over the lab. Once the lid is off, place it on the bench grease side up to keep it clean and avoid dirty looks from your TA. Now let's deal with the sample. It's completely useless for your sample to be in the desiccator if it's sealed shut, okay? So prop open the lid before placing it inside. If you're worried about greasy fingerprints on your sample bottle, use gloves or a kim wipe to handle it. Put the sample inside and slip the lid back on using the same technique as before. Make sure it's completely sealed to deny any outside moisture from infiltrating the desiccator. Once sealed, you shouldn't open it until you need your sample again. Easy, right? Now you know how to use a desiccator.